Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's me, rsquad911, back again with another statue unboxing, assembly, and short review. Um, literally just picked this up from the post office, got home about five minutes ago, set up the tripod camera. Uh, I got a pickup slip yesterday, um, had for this statue, had about $72 in duties, taxes, and brokerage fees. Um, unfortunately, that's the price you have to pay when you live in Canada and you are waist deep in statues and you order from the US or from Asia. Um, it's just crazy, but I still love it. I won't let it deter me. Um, that's why we work hard, right? So uh, obviously it's from Mondo. And what is it, you ask? Well, it's already in the YouTube title, so you already know. But it is the 1989 uh, Godzilla premium format statue, limited edition. Um, well, not premium format, it's just that's for Sideshow because that would make it quarter scale. And if this was quarter scale Godzilla, it would be massive. So this is a premium statue. Uh, it's a limited edition version. So they only made 300 pieces of this. This one is, ooh, number 12 of 300. So very low number there um, and only very few made. So that's, that's pretty crazy. Um, and I think the exclusive version comes with some extra pieces. Um, it's Godzilla um, by Olante. Uh, so it should have one of Biolante's tendrils. And I think it has a spike through Godzilla's hand. Um, I ordered this like eight, pre-ordered this eight months ago. Um, I wanted to be one of the first people to pre-order it. So obviously I must have been maybe number 12 to order, uh, but it's sold out by the end of the day. Uh, the exclusive at least, and then the non-exclusive sold out, I think, like a month or two later. Um, but yeah, don't exactly remember what is in this. I, I kind of remember what it looks like. So we're going to unbox this and we're going to find out together. All right, so Zacto Knife. And let's get this unboxing party started. All right. And boom. Another Mondo box. <laughs> we'll give a little turn around on this. It's pretty much the same box as the big box. It's just an inch on each side smaller. Very nice packaging. So even though that box is damaged, um, this box is fine. You can probably, there's, now there's two brown shippers. So that's kind of crazy. I'm gonna open up this box too. The suspense is killing me. Also want to take the time right now to uh, thank all my followers. Um, been getting quite a few followers lately and I really, really appreciate it. I'm glad you guys enjoy my video. Comment below. I, I always reply to most of my comments or almost all of them, or I at least like and love them. Um, Always like to hear what you guys think. And yeah, really appreciate you guys following me and enjoying my videos. All right, very cool art box. Everything is in Japanese. So this probably says Gojira versus, I don't know, Biolante. Premium format statue. So it is premium format. But yeah, Toho Entertainment, obviously, Godzilla. This is really, really nice art. I really like how they drew that. Um, here's one of Biolante's tendrils, Mondo. And here, this is the exclusive version. So it comes with limited edition heat ray. Uh, it comes with limited edition Biolante spiked hand. Uh, you see a little piece of the ship there. I don't know if you guys seen the movie. This was quite good. I think I'm going to try to find it and uh, watch it again. Um, but really, really nice artwork on this box. And then of course on the top is just in Japanese, Godzilla versus Biolante in Japanese. I, I think at least um, that would be my best educated guess. Premium format statue. On the bottom it just says buy direct from mondoshop.com. It's upside down of course. Godzilla, Toho, Mondo. Collector's model not suitable for children, made in China. My upside down reading skills are on point. Um, let's see here. Concept design, Eric Seibenaller. Sculpting, Mark Newman and Hector Aker. 
uh, painting Hector, Hector Aker, package art Florian Bettmer, package design Mike Bonanmo, I'm sorry, I'm screwing up everybody's names, art direction, Mondo Toys, and collectibles. All right. So let's open this thing up. There we go. All right. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the camera, move it up close, give you guys kind of a bird's eye view of what we see in the box and we'll unbag it together. All right. So stand by. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. Um, this is the what's inside the box here. Uh, as you can see, Godzilla is quite large. Um, he is one piece with the base. Uh, but what we're going to do first is we're going to look at all these little pieces first. This is the limited edition or exclusive uh, heat ray. Uh, has his lower jaw here. Very light. I guess it would have to be light because you don't want it to be falling off of his jaw there or and crashing down onto the ground. It kind of looks like a club. Bam, bam. Anyways, um, magnet right there. Hopefully it's strong. We'll put that here. Uh, this is the regular uh, bottom jaw right there. Lots of rows of teeth there. Put that back there. This is his uh, regular hand. Regular hand here. It's also quite light. You can see some color in the fingernails there. It'd be nice if they did more shading on this. It looks very, um, very monotone. Anyways, what's that hand? This is the exclusive hand with the spike in it. It's the exclusive hand there. Mylante spike through there. A little bit of redness. That should not bother Godzilla one bit. Alright. And there, and then one of Violante's tendrils or oops, there. It's a peg there. It doesn't seem like to have any magnets, to be any magnets. Reminds you of a little shop of horrors right there. Comment below if you even know what little shop of horrors is. <laughs> All right, so that goes right back there. And then, of course, Gojira. How do I pick him up without? I think he's more base heavy than anything. Yeah, so let's grab him from the base and lift him up. Oh my goodness, he's so big. Um, I'll move this to the side. Um, they bagged them from the bottom up. So really just kind of open up the bag like so and kind of undress him. Now that actually looks really, really cool. Um, on the camera, you can't really see the detail, I guess, until I focus in like that. But uh, he looks great. I mean, the detail, the sculpting looks brilliant. Um, doesn't look as monotone now. I mean, he still is like very blackish, grayish, noir, I don't know. Um, but uh, as a large figure, large areas, he looks much, much better. Uh, you can see just the subtle, subtle shading on it. But yeah, that's him right there. He is massive. Um, 
Godzilla limited edition number 12 of 300. That is awesome. He kind of feels like he's made out of, he's not polystone. Feels more like, um, like what Kotobukiya makes their stuff out of, of resin, um, PVC. Yeah, like everything's very bendy. Um, I don't know if you can see it right there, like it's just very, yeah, I mean, I guess that's better for, I guess you don't get, have to worry about this leg cracking because there's like, I mean, not leg, tail cracking because uh, it's so much more flexible. But yeah, that's, that's him right there, guys. Um, so now I'm going to take the camera off, well, not off the tripod, I'm going to move it back and then uh, we're going to start assembling it. All right, so we'll be right back. Guys, I'm back. Uh, have him set up on the Lazy Susan here so we can spin him around. And um, when I was putting the box down on the ground, I guess there was so much plastic around him, it was blocking uh, him. But there was another jaw here. I'm not sure if he has a closed mouth and an open mouth, but uh, let's test it out. Okay, so that's open mouth. And the magnet is crazy strong. Wow. Okay. Um, probably the strongest magnet I've ever felt on any statue. And then that's closed mouth. All right. Wow, that's really strong. Oh, and they're already kind of sticking together. All right, so we'll put all the pieces here on the table. So we'll go with a piece of Biolanti. Just goes right there. Very easy. Just kind of drops right in. Let gravity do its thing. Um, here is uh, the regular arm here. It just pegs into there. Uh, seam is quite obvious. Kind of reminds me exactly like the Kotobukiya stuff um, when you're doing with, dealing with resins. And um, I guess I would do it with the open mouth because he just looks way cooler like that. All right, I'll do it with the closed mouth as well. Oh man, the magnet is super duper strong. That's closed mouth. He doesn't look too bad either like that. Looks pretty cool. Open mouth is definitely better. And then of course, with the exclusive flame mouth. Um, flame kind of looks cheesy to me. Um, it's cool to have. I mean, it's cool that it's the exclusive edition and there's fewer of them. Um, I think that non-exclusive was uh, 500 and this one was 300. And uh, yeah, and we can switch out the arm as well for the exclusive arm here. And there he is, battle damage with the thorn from Biolanti. But I think, you know, even though it's the exclusive, um, I don't know, how would I display him? He looks a lot more like a toy with, um, with this. So I would definitely display him with the open jaw, open mouth. Like so. And I don't know, to me, Godzilla is always invincible, undamageable. <laughs> so I would actually probably display him like this. Mm, you know what? He doesn't look bad like that either because then it goes with the base here, kind of ties in the tendril and that right there. That's cool. Um, one thing I did notice right now is, uh, I don't know if I can fix that with a hair dryer, but I'll show you guys after. Oh, I'll show you guys now um, since it's on the least. This seems to be bent off to uh, his left. So I think it needs to sit like this but uh, I think in shipping, 
I mean, it's resin or PVC. So, I mean, all I need to do is probably just heat it up and hold it there and then it will stay put. But right now, as you can see, it just wants to lean that way. I think when it was in the box, the bag was maybe too tight on it and it was holding it off to the side. Um, but you know what, if it was like that and it was polystone, it probably would have broke. Um, and there's another thing I'm not like, again, I, I pre-ordered this about eight months ago, so I'm not exactly sure. I could have sworn that they said polystone statue. Um, maybe because the base is probably polystone, but he is uh, clearly PVC. Uh, I don't feel any polystone on him at all. Even the base could be PVC. Mm, could be polystone. I think the base is polystone. So it's like a polystone um, PVC mix, which isn't bad. I mean, I guess it keeps costs down. Um, I think he was only 350 or $375 um, compared to other statues of this size in polystone would have cost 500 plus um, for this. And uh, he looks really good. Probably one of the better looking Godzillas out there. 1989 Godzilla. All right, so uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod and we'll do some close-ups, and then uh, you guys can tell me what you guys think. All right, so be right back. All right, guys, here we are doing some up-close shots of uh, Godzilla here. Um, as you can see, uh, it looks more gray here. Um, and then it slowly stays gray. <laughs> I was going to say slowly gets darker, but it slowly does get darker when you get um, above him. So there is some, uh, I guess, shading gradations or gradations um, on it. Uh, the base rock formation uh, looks like rubble spaceship here. If you've seen the movie, that's, a, I guess, the science ship, I think it was. Um, you know, not too crazy in the colors. Like, it's very gray um, and rust, I guess. Um, you can see here there's some gloss here. I'm not sure if it looks like some glue residue. Um, didn't really... That got past the QC, I think. I don't know if they had to glue this part on top of this or as part of the glue that they used to glue the PVC onto the base. Um, but yeah, that's the base. Um, that's the tendril from Biolante. Um, his tail there. Looks, it's very thick. Um, looks really, really good. I think they uh, made a very big statue and a nice small footprint by wrapping his tail around instead of like flowing all the way up and around. Uh, that would have taken up a lot of real estate. So this is great for collectors who are tight on space and who want a Godzilla statue. This um, is a very good space-saving statue. <laughs> um, yeah, and then going up, these are his feet. I mean, it's just a... The pattern just changes as it gets to the body. It comes more speckled versus uh, striped. Right there. And you can see a little bit of the glue that they used right there to attach the legs. These are the spikes here on the back. And this is the one I was telling you guys about how he moved off to the side there. Um, it needs to be like here. So I'll probably take a hair dryer, heat it up and get it to hold in place there. Uh, no big deal, but that kind of sucks. I'll probably uh, email Mondo and let them know about this issue. Uh, this is his chest, his hands here, his fingernails. Pretty good detail, very nice sculpt. Um, this is the seam that I was telling you guys about right there. Um, that's where it attaches, like so. I can put the regular arm there. So you guys can see that, right? I think it does look better. Um, earlier I said that I liked it 
him undamaged, but it actually adds a little bit of color to all this gray black. All right, that's the back of his head there. And then, yeah, very obvious seam here where the jaw is. And that's him right there. It looks very true to the movie. Very, very cool. Um, and I'll switch out this for you guys so you guys can see. It is so strong, the magnets. It's kind of insane. This will be, oh, closed mouth. It just like shot right in there. Closed mouth doesn't look too bad either. A lot less of a seam with the closed mouth. I don't know why I'm dodging left and right when this thing's on a on a lazy Susan. And then of course the exclusive thing there. That's him. It actually doesn't look bad from far. Kind of looks cheese, cheesy from the side. Um, from the front, it looks much better. I don't know, comment below, let me know what you guys think. Um, but that's pretty much it. I gotta get back to work. Um, it's only three o'clock. So there you have it guys. This is the Mondo 1989 uh, premium format Godzilla statue, limited edition, number 12 of 300. Uh, it was a long time waiting for this, eight months, um, but it's here. Uh, I think I'm happy with it. I'm not ecstatic about it. I feel like uh, a lot of things could have been improved. I mean, the color, probably, the seams. Um, and I'm going to have to go back and see if they say polystone, but I mean, it's a little misleading when just the base is polystone. The rest of it is made out of... Uh, PVC. Uh, but again, for the price, um, $350 and only 300 of these limited editions out there. Um, it seems to be okay. I guess it's tolerable. Uh, but this piece here is kind of bothering me. And I got to fix that when I get off camera and get the trusty old hair dryer out. Don't want to use a heat gun. You want to use a hair dryer with a hot cold setting. You use hot hold it, use a cold, kind of like cool it down and then repeat. If you use like a heat gun, you could probably melt this PVC or the paint or whatever, or PVC will probably bubble. Um, so yeah, or if you live in a hot climate, you could probably just bring this outside, put it on the sun and just like hold it out, hold it and let it get back in place. Um, if you guys own this, let me know if you've had any issues like that with yours. Um, but yeah, like, subscribe, comment below. Have a few other pre-orders coming in and uh, I'm going to make some more videos for you guys. All right. So, oh, actually I forgot. I'm supposed to do some measurements for you guys. Have my trusty tape measure here. Going to put the camera back on the tripod and uh, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. We're going to do some measurements. Um, the base itself is 13 inches long, but the tail does come past it. Uh, so if you measure it with the base, it ends up being about 15 inches wide. Sorry, not long. Um, depth, depth is 13 and a half to 14 inches. Height is 18 and a half just a hair under 18 and a half. Um, yeah, and for weight wise, he's not super heavy. I'm gonna say he's like 10 to 15 pounds. I don't have a scale, unfortunately. I guess that's something I have to uh, invest in later on for you guys. Um, but yeah, from now on, I'm gonna start doing some measurements uh, for you guys. Um, so maybe I'll help other collectors when they wanna purchase something like this. But yep. Yeah. That's it for my unboxing, assembly, and review. Uh, again, this is the Mondo 1989 Godzilla Premium Format statue. Um, like, subscribe, and comment below. Let me know what you guys think. All right, so I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.